I'm here in the garden and I'm going to show you part of our garden. Could hear the birds singing. Just so delightful. I am going to take you to our garden. It is not spring yet, but as you can see, daffodils are in full bloom. I don't know what this weather is doing to them, but this is not usual. This is unusual. All the daffodils are blooming and the hydrangeas are putting on new shoots as you can see here. I don't know if I can get you a good better picture here. The forsythias are also blooming right here. Usually it happens in March, but it is early, it has been warm this winter and very wet. Say hello. Good afternoon. We're out here in the garden doing a little bit of late evening uh, cleaning up. And uh, everything is done. Josie's just been telling me about the daffodils being up, etc. etc. I have to find a place for our birdhouse. Birds have been checking it out, but I can't leave it there because in the summertime, when we're mowing and stuff around there, it'll upset the birds. So we have to figure out something else to do with it. That's right. And I'm oh. trying to do that right now. I'm not quite sure where to put it, but uh, you can see we've uh, pruned the boxes through here, over there. Pruned some over there. And uh, trying to figure out exactly where to put the birds. Let me show the birdhouse that was gifted to us by our children. 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 Right over here. Right over there. Over Christmas, we went to see our children and grandchildren, and in the course of that delightful time, we were given a birdhouse. And it's here in the yard to attract whatever bird comes first, and I hope it's a bluebird. And we are going to have to find a new place for it to go because in the summertime, this is a place of a lot of activity, mowing, etc. It would scare the birds away. So by this time tomorrow, we're going to be able to share with you the new location of the birdhouse. We have uh, gotten these beautiful pieces of metal from our neighbor and uh, they're all painted. We have two more down there and I would like to paint uh, pictures on them. Pictures of animals, pictures of people and put them at different places in the yard at different times. Um, and the other day I got out the pressure washer, cleaned them up really good, put a fresh coat of paint on them, and now I'm going to draw pictures on them, or paint pictures on them. And tomorrow, some of those pictures are going to be painted, and we'll see what we end up with. We also have some beautiful pieces of wood we have hanging here from the swing set. This is a beautiful piece of wood pointing to where we need to go that came from um, some place just off uh, Vedisto Island. You comes all the way out here, collected with a uh, friend of mine using his boat 
He's a great good fella and uh, for a number of different reasons. One is he doesn't mind me pulling pieces of wood into his boat. We have another piece of wood here that you have to go from the other side to see. We just finished up talking to you about this beautiful piece of Edisto beech wood. This is another piece of wood that is pine and it came from the great good earth when the tree rotted away and you can see here that it is absolutely full of sap and when it gets really warm it bleeds and it gets really cold what bled solidifies and moss grows on it very quickly green but you can see the incredible detail that mother nature made in this piece of wood that was hidden underground from all prying eyes and you are now getting the benefit of this beautiful piece of wood. One other quick thing is if Josie will turn right around and show you some of my junk. It's a uh, beautiful car, 1931 Ford Model A and it sometimes make noises that I don't like and can't quite figure out what they are. But I wanted to share with you today the car running. I wanted to start it for you. I have to give it a little bit of gas here. Well, I had the gas on all night. I hope it didn't all come out. Turn on the electricity. Put this up here so that uh, it's there like that. And I'm going to start it for you. So you just stay there. And I'm going to come over here. Park it aside. Retard the spark. Advance it. Give it a little bit of choke. <laughs> supper here after being out in the yard here and about walked around the block um, just put up a new light today I'm going to go downstairs a moment and finish up working on the bidet and uh, going to make us a cup of tea now I'm going to make me a cup of uh, Sri Lankan tea with Sri Lankan black tea and making Josie some Laya Laya is a wonderful mixture of ginger turmeric and a little bit of uh, orange peel has just a touch of uh, brown sugar in it as well. It's a wonderful cup of tea to have in the evening, anytime really, if you want a uh, nice relaxing cup of tea that doesn't have any uh, caffeine in it. Anyway, I've already poured, uh, fixed the tea, put the uh, lye in this cup, filling it up, and I've put the uh, Salon black tea in this cup, filling it up. Now, I'm gonna let them steep for a couple minutes now. And then, uh, Gonna add just a little bit of uh, milk to mine with a little bit of sugar and to Josie's. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, brown sugar in this case. And um, we'll have a very nice cup of tea then. And um, I will come back to you as soon as that's done. The tea's been steeping now for about two, two and a half minutes and it looks like it's just ready to uh, uh, final preparation. Um, in uh, the Laya tea, I have already put a little bit of brown sugar just to, to, to taste. And uh, for my tea, the black Sri Lankan tea, it's been steeping. It's got a nice red color. Um, be a uh, beautiful cup of tea. And I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it. I like a little bit of milk. I guess in some instances, people would consider it a lot of milk. But there you go. That, and I'm going to give myself a little bit of sugar just to uh, 
flavor it. And um, stay with us a moment. There we have two really nice cups of tea. All right, now we're going to have our tea. Uh, it's been good sharing this with you. And um, we will see you again. Good night. Take very good care. And it's uh, appreciated to spend time with you. Bye-bye.